Hello everyone. Welcome to the world of IPv6. I am Swagami from Cisco Support Community for IP routing. This video is focused on demonstrating the key difference between IPv6 global unicast address and the link local address. What is link local address? The link local address, as the name implies, is specific to the local network. That is, unlike the IPv6 global unicast address, the link local address are not routable across networks. The link local address is a special scope of address automatically generated by prepending the link local prefix FE80 to the interface identifier in the modified EUI64 format. Unlike the IPv6 global unicast address, the link local address are never timed out and has infinite preferred and valid lifetime. This address is used for automatic address configuration, neighbor discovery functions such as address resolution, and also for establishing communication across a link in the absence of a router. By default, all the IPv6 enabled interfaces will have a link local address assigned to it. Here is the network diagram that we will be using in this video to demonstrate link local address connectivity. In this network setup, we have three routers R1, R2 and R3. The routers are connected through serial interfaces configured with IPv6 address. Also to generate networks, we have created some of the loopback interface in routers R1 and R3. The routers use OSPF protocol to communicate with each other. Having said that, let's verify the routers R1 and R3 can ping each other. We are in router R1 now. Let's give the command show IPv6 root OSPF to check the routes from router R1. Here we go. We do have the routes to router R3. Let's now try to ping the router R3. We are able to ping the router R3 successfully. Let's log into router R3 now and check the reachability to router R1. In router R3, we'll give the command ping IPv6, the IP address of router R1. We are able to ping the router R1 from R3 successfully. Now, let's verify the reachability of these routers using the link local address. To start with, from the router R1, let's try to ping the link local address of the router R3, which is in the remote network. Note that while pinging the link local address, we need to mention the output interface, which is in this case serial 0 slash 0. Even though we are able to ping the global unicast address of the router R3, the ping to the link local address is unsuccessful. Similarly, when we ping the link local address of the router R1 from the router R3, it is unsuccessful. The reason is, the link local address, as the name implies, is specific only to the local network and cannot communicate to the link local addresses that are outside the directly connected networks, that is the remote networks. Having said that, let's focus on the router R2. For the router R2, the routers R1 and R3 are directly connected and can ping the link local address of both the routers R1 and R3 from the router R2. Let's go ahead and verify that in router R2 now. Now, we are in router R2. Let's try to ping the link local address of the router R1 now. We will mention the output interface of the router R2 connecting to the router R1, that is serial 0 slash 0. Here we go. We are able to successfully ping the router R1. Let's try to ping the router R3's link local address now.
and we will mention the output interface serial 0 slash 1 which is connecting to the router R3. So, we are now able to successfully ping the routers R1 and R3's link local address from the router R2. By using the command debug IPv6 ICMP, we could confirm that the router R1 is responding to the ping request of router R2. Similarly, the routers R1 and R3 can ping the link local address of the router R2 since they are directly connected. Hope this video helped you in understanding the link local address. Thank you for watching.